Hi everyone, Holly here and welcome back to my channel. Earlier this year I had the chance to visit Victoria, British Columbia's capital city. Victoria is home to a variety of sea creatures including large species of fish, seals, sea lions, and of course, orca. To get to Victoria from Vancouver, we had to take a train, bus, and a ferry, but the trek was absolutely worth it. We've checked fully into our Airbnb here in Victoria. It's my first time that I've been diving ever off Vancouver Island, and I've heard from so many people that diving out here is absolutely phenomenal. I called in advance last week to see if I could be paired up with a dive master. They were kind enough to provide me with Chris. I looked him up on Instagram and his photography is phenomenal. <laughs> so I'm really excited to talk to him about his underwater rig, how he manages to capture such amazing content underwater, and what led him to go all in with diving and becoming a instructor out here in Victoria. And with that, I'm gonna head to bed, try and get a little bit of sleep, and wake up fresh for the dives. As someone relatively new to exploring Victoria, it was great to meet the team at Frank White's, a dive shop established in 1956. We packed up our gear, then headed off to our dive site for the day, Ogden Point. When we arrived, we took a long walk down the pier to take a look at dive entry points. Chris pointed out the large granite blocks that we would need to descend to get access to the water. We agreed on diving further from shore in hopes of seeing bigger marine life, then headed back to get set up for the dive. A big uh, sunflower stars. Um, you might see like a few of those. Yeah. Um, I saw one like recently that was just moving. Like, oh my god. You, you know, they, they don't see a move very often, but this one was like, like, <laughs> like it was like full speed. The lake pod like bigger than me. Wow. That's scary. That is scary. Yeah. Um, they're that big here. Like yeah. that. Oh wow. Wow wow. Yeah, no, that's the well, that's the only thing that freaks me out a bit. We'll most definitely see um orcas. We we'll see them every single. <laughs> While we didn't see any orcas on this dive, I was so excited to get geared up and into the water. We set up our tanks, then layered up before putting on the dry suit. New dry suit that I'm trying today, aqua lung, and uh, so far going into it has just never, never been smoother. <laughs> it's uh, quite the process, and uh, yeah, hopefully we dive today. <laughs> Diving in cold water requires a dry suit, and depending on which shop you rent from, you'll likely encounter different brands and materials. One thing that stays consistent is how entertaining it can be to try and get your head through the neck seal. With the suit on and ready to go, it's time to head to the water. Kelp forests are one of the ocean's most diverse ecosystems and play a vital part in fighting climate change. These forests and algae can store up to one-fifth of the CO2 absorbed by our oceans. You can see really quickly why they're called underwater forests, as the abundance of life we saw here was amazing. While diving, we saw all kinds of critters, including sea snails, sea slugs, kelp crabs, clams, jellyfish, and link cod. We even saw my first Puget Sound king crab. If you look closely on this cup leaf, you'll see a lump sucker, which made me wish more than anything that I had a macro lens. Located just behind this bright fish is a juvenile wolf eel poking its head out from the rock. And for the first time ever, I caught a hooded nudie branch swimming. Man, these things are wild to look at.
Thanks so much for joining me and for coming along to dive Ogden Point in Victoria. With the new year upon us, I have big hopes to do more diving both in Canada as well as abroad. I've linked a few resources in the description, but feel free to comment below with any questions you might have. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow along for more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.